Okay, so today we got a fun little video here. Um, my top 10 series that I wish had action figure lines. So coming in at number 10 right here. I didn't really care for the story too like I, that would be a lie. I did care for the story. But fairy tale. I think fairy tale has a lot of dope designs, and this is what you're gonna hear reoccurring in this top 10. They have a lot of dope designs, and um although I fell off with the story. I can't lie, like a lot of the characters look super cool. And it would be not and it's actually surprising that they didn't get a for action figure line. Fairy tale was very popular. Or was it popular because a lot of people like to hate it? Either way, moving forward. Coming in at number nine, we have Shenzo. Now this is rather, I guess you could say technically kind of obscure, but I have vivid very vivid memories of this show and I've went back and rewatched it before but I have very vivid memories of watching this show on what was it did it come on Jet X or what did, did it go back to the Toon Disney block by the time this came on because I remember this used to come on late but the theme song used to play like <laughs> like that theme song I remember to this day and it was just it was a it was a part of that era of post-apocalyptic anime where the outlook on the future was very grim. But moving forward. Number eight. It's not an anime or a manga. It is a comic. Well, but I got the uh, TV show poster. But Invincible. Yes. This is a comic that desperately needs some highly articulated, high quality action figures. Yes, the ones I think Diamond selected some. No, we're not counting those. No. Before anybody even think to comment that. We're not counting those. Those are whack. We need some highly articulated figures for these uh, characters. You know? These are... Like, all the characters are dope. Um, I feel like there's never a dull moment with this show. In comic in general. Well, comic... The comics had their slow moments, but in the show, never a dull moment. And it's like certain characters. Conquest, Battle Beast. I would love to see in figure form. But moving forward... At number seven, we have something way different. Well, not way different, but as you can see, a bunch of handsome brothers is on the screen. Well-drawn brothers. And this is from the Webtoon Ordeal. And basically, it's a black uh, martial arts. I was gonna call it anime, but comic. And it's awesome. All the character designs are dope. I, don't, I need more uh, brothers in the collection and sisters. I need more brothers and sisters in the collection, so this would be awesome to get in a um, action figure line. However, you know the, the likelihood. <sighs> I think this series would need to get way more popular for that to even be a thought, and you're gonna see that with even more series on this list. Um, moving forward, though, at number six, we got One Punch Man. Now, you would think a series like this would have had more figures, and Figma did do a Saitama, and there is that third-party Saitama, but neither one quite do it, for me personally. Now, the Figma one is kind of butt. <laughs> I can't lie to you. But the third-party one is decent. It's decent, but it's not still not the level it should be at. Same thing with uh, Genos. Um, like, this whole series is full, chock full of characters with cool design. And, you know, just, it'll be awesome to replicate some of these uh, iconic poses. Especially, you know, with crossover, crossing over Superman, One Punch Man, Goku, One Punch Man, you know. But either way, moving forward. At number five, another webcomic. Solo leveling. Yo, the designs in this are beastly. Um, once again, I'm not rating these things off of how much I love the story per se. Even though I do like this, this was a very good read. For me at least. Um, this, this series is just, it's just, it's too cool. It's the rule of cool. Like, I don't, I don't know what more to say about it. the character designs. Once again, the character designs are awesome. There's never... Uh, no, this is one series where I feel like there's never a dull moment at all. It's like pretty much no doubt. That's non-stop in this series. 
With that being said, I don't know what the likelihood of it getting a fake line is, you know? I heard that it was getting an anime. I don't know what the status with that is. But at the anime, I think an anime is always a, a nice way, gateway into potentially getting a figure line. Anime, you know, moving uh, image. There's always a way to get more, a lot more exposure for something like that. But moving forward, at number four, yes, Blaze Blue. I don't even play Blaze Blue, but I just look at all the character designs and I just say, yes, make them all. <laughs> Yes, make them all. I don't I don't care. I don't care if I don't know about the characters. All these characters look cool as hell, man. Like, I don't yo. <laughs> all these characters look awesome. You can't go wrong with these characters. But with that being said, we gotta move forward. Cause I don't know a lot about it. At number three, Fire Force. Now, Fire Force isn't even. I'm not I'm sure. I don't. I know a lot of people don't like the ending. And what that, but I enjoyed Fire Force thoroughly. Um, and this picture, it's like the colors aren't even super vibrant on the character itself, himself. But God damn, man! Like I have to say, like it's it's all like that pose, recreating that pose in figure form. Come on, come on, that would be dope. Like, oh man, oh man, oh man. Now this one, it's possible. I don't think all the season, I don't think the anime is finished. But the likelihood of it getting an actual figure, um, what you call it, line? Nah, bro. I can't really see it anytime soon, but I'm hoping, like, by the time that the anime is finished and uh, caught up with the manga and whatnot, I'm hoping that it does, but I'm not going to hold my breath for it, to be honest. Moving forward, though. At number two, one of my favorite webtoons, one of my favorite series, period. Tower of God. There are so many cool designs in this series, especially as you get to see go through season three. This a ridiculously amount of awesome designs. This is the Korean One Piece when it comes to amount of characters this show is packed with and amount of history that's in the show. Korean One Piece, I call it. But yeah, all, all the different. Oh man, I, I, I feel like I'm, I'm fanboying out. But um, either way, before we go to number one, let's do some honorable mentions. And no particular order with these. First thing, Feng Shinji. This is probably the least out of this whole list to ever get any type of figure line. Feng Shinji is, where is it from? I, I wanna see, no, I don't even wanna be, I'll put it, probably put somewhere on the screen, but this picture alone should show you. Just imagine having this guy posed on your shelf and imagine he came with these dragon accessories. Bruh. That's all I gotta say, bruh. But moving forward. Hitman Reborn. Now, Hitman Reborn, I feel like ended at a time where, you know, they wasn't really doing any type of, you know, figures, like, like or based off of animes, like. But, you know, I, I, I have never, funny enough, I haven't ever even watched Hitman Reborn myself, but I always thought the main character looked cool. I started to get into it, but I never really finished it. But two people, like, yo, a lot of people I'm close with are uh, into Hitman Reborn. So I'm sure this would probably sell like hotcakes if they made Hitman Reborn figures. And last but not least, and funny, as I'm swiping through these pictures, I thought of another series that I would like to have. Um, I got official release, but either way, I'll, I'll leave that up. Um, Hunter x Hunter. Not Hunter x Hunter. Hunter x Hunter. This series right here. Yes, they got figures from Figma. But first of all, those figures, man. I guess they was cool at the time. But now nah, we need something updated. We need somebody, maybe a different company to handle Hunter x Hunter. We need more characters from Hunter x Hunter. We need Hasoka. We need Yuvogan. 
We need a uh, Gong. We need Kalua. We need Karapika. We need Rayorio. We need all the characters, man. But with that being said, moving on to number one. And at number one, we have got a high school. Man, oh man. Jen Mori. Uh, why am I blanking on everybody's name? <laughs> why do I just forget everybody's name? Either way, God of High School, the Korean, I'm calling, I don't care what y'all say, Korean Dragon Ball. Literally. Not literally, but, like, you'll understand why if you've been keeping up with the series or if you finish the series. God of High School. Absolutely a must. Now, one thing, like I mentioned before on this list, like, a lot of these, like, webtoons and web comic web series especially from like a lot of these uh web comics are from korea except for uh ordeal but a lot of these things like webtoons just started uh web comics from like from webtoons just started getting anime not that long ago so for them to jump to even having like figures of them oh man that, that's probably who knows how far off you know who knows how far up that is, honestly. But if it's any, if I could choose only one, this would be the one. Get a figure line. Now, of course, like, all, all the other stuff on the list, I would love to get a figure line. But this is perfectly suited for dynamic martial arts poses, you know? I could already see the pictures in my head now that I could take with figures from this uh, series. But with that being said, there's actually going to be a part two to this video, believe it or not. It's going to be, originally this video was supposed to have, include, like, also characters that, that are from, like, characters that I would want to get a figure. Because I didn't necessarily want their whole series to get a figure, just, I like those particular characters, so that's what it was. But that list started to get super long, so I decided to make it for a separate video but with that being said this has been bombastic plastic as always thank you for the support stay fantastic